So it looks like we may have to wait a little longer for the Elden Ring DLC to drop, unfortunately. Um, I've been trying to find fresh ways to play the game and keep it interesting. I went through Convergence Mod for a um, thousand or so hours. That was a lot of fun. Um, and I've been playing the item and enemy randomizer for a while. Um, and one of the things that I like about the Souls game is routing a run. I I've, have routed speed runs in the past and um, I like to analyze the, the data in Elden Ring and kind of develop a build and, and pick the optimal way to, to route the build. So I created uh, some, some Google Sheets tools to help me analyze the spoiler log from the randomizer uh, to, to see what kind of builds I can come up with. Um, and within a, a couple of minutes, I can, I can analyze uh, the data and start a run, and, and that's good for uh, a couple of hours. And a lot of times I can even use the same seed for different kinds of builds, so it's, it's kind of fun. Um, so the first thing that I do uh, after I generate a random seed is I go into the spoiler log and take a look at the hints to see if it's even worth the time to load it into this tool. Um, like if if the random seed ends up putting one of the Dectus medallions in Divine Tower of Lyurnia, I'm not interested in going through that. I, I don't want to figure out if I can get the inverted statue. Um, it's just too much time and effort. Um, for me. So I do take a look at the hints section before I even start this process. But then if I go through the hints and it looks like it might be a viable uh, viable run, then I'll load it into this tool and start slicing and dicing the data to see what I can build out of it. So let me show you what we've got. So we've got this sheet called Log Dirty. And this is where I just dump in the old item, new item part of the spoiler log um, and then I, I filter it to, to only show the lines that have periods at the end and I'll show you why here in a minute. So when I'm going to start a new analysis the first thing I do is uh, highlight the entire sheet up in the top left corner and then just turn off the filter. So I'm going to remove the filter and then you'll see down here like on row 19 um, the meteor bolt here is sold by a, a, a merchant, so the the line of the old item, new item, is followed by the cost of it, and I want to filter that out. So that's why I do this this filter up here. So we're going to start out by just deleting everything in this sheet and taking my log, and this is everything from the spoiler header all the way to where we start getting into the random item drops. So you'll know that you're into the, the random item drops when you get these drop chance lines. And that's the that's that's the end of the of the standard old item new item section. So uh, typically, the, the old item, new item section, before it gets to the random drops, will end w where it says replaces Elden Remembrance. That's not always the case, but uh, most of the time, or a lot of the time, that's what you can look for as the end. But, you, but you'll know, you'll see when you get into the, the random drop area, and we don't want to include that. So I'm going to copy that text and just paste it into the dirty log. And then I'll turn the filter back on, data create filter. And then for my filter, I want filter by condition. Text ends with period. And again, that'll just get rid of all the, the, the lines that I don't want. So now I've got clean data. So what I want to do here is copy from row two to the end, copy it. Go to log clean, and I'm going to delete out what's in there now. So, so just go to log clean line two and paste the values only, which is control shift V. 
and so now we have just the lines of text that we want and I can go down and see how many lines we got we get down to 3981 so the next tab over is parsed and this analyzes that previous sheet the log clean sheet and picks out uh, the position and length of the old item and new item and it just builds this data about you know where the old item new item stuff is and we just want to make sure that we have enough rows uh, to handle all the rows that we're that we're scrubbing so I need to have up to 3981 so I'm gonna copy these formulas these are all just formulas copy these down to 3981 okay there okay so we got all our formulas and then the items sheet is just a, a huge bunch of calculations that combine the log clean information with the parsed data to build a spreadsheet of what the old name is what the new what the new old item is what the new item is the description of of where it can be found and stuff um, and it also has a column here called priority where I've taken this this sheet called favorites and I put into it a list of all the items that I like to use in a build and then depending on what kind of build I'm trying to, to, to set up or route um, I can assign a priority and I just use uh, 1 to 99 99 being the most important um, so for example the the pureblood Knights medal is one thing that I love to use in a route so that I can do the Moog skip and instantly jump up you know 65 levels so um, I've assigned it my highest priority of 99 and then I just put a, assign a priority to the other things that that are important and I've got quite a few things in this list but you can edit this list however you want you just have to make sure that when you edit it um, after you've got it edited just be sure to go ahead and sort it alphabetically by the item name because this is used in a in a lookup table and it needs to be alphabetical so if you if you add or change or, or move stuff around just make sure that in the end that you sort it alphabetically so that it works properly okay so we said that our log had 3981 so I just need to make sure that my items table has enough rows to accommodate that so what I'm gonna do here um, so what I'm gonna do when I add rows what I need to do is take this last row number and turn it back into a row function so I'm going to do equals row, row, like that. And then I'm going to copy this line all the way down to 3981. And then what I'm going to do is go back up and turn this row function back into uh, values so I'm taking the function out and replacing it with values so I'm going to do shift control down copy and then just make sure I'm on the right place here and then shift control V to paste values only so the the data looks the same but the important thing is now when I sort this sheet um, I'm not going to be in I'm not going to end up changing the value of row number anymore so that allows me to slice and dice this any way that I want. So for example, typically when I start out, I'll go in and sort by my priority descending and then by the randomized item name. Sort that and then jump up to the top. And these are in descending priority, the things that I want to uh, want to analyze in the data before I decide if I want to route it and how I might want to route it so in this example you know I said my pure blood metal was important well this in this particular random seed it's actually sold by the merchant on Saints Bridge which is super super easy to get early so in this uh, in this random seed I can actually hit Moog's Palace and do the Moog skip within the first 15 minutes of the game and be up to level 65. So I like to see this. Um, 
so again i said you know dectus medallion i just want to make sure that that's not like in some place that's going to be a pain in the ass to get so these are both fine uh, i've got one in one sold by patches and the other one at uh, bellum church so that's fine that'll let me get to altus very easily um, a couple of the weapons that i like to play uh, of course blasmoth blade and a Moog Spear, although Moog Spear is not a good end game weapon, but it's it's fun. Uh, it certainly has um, has its place uh, in in certain parts of the game, especially if I'm going to do all bosses. Moog Spear is really useful, and then I like Sacred Relic's Sword um, for certain crowd control and certain farming. So that's another one that I like to know where it is and and consider it when I'm building a run. So anyway, um, this is the tool. Uh, it's pretty simple, I think. Um, but yeah, this might help you get a few more uh, 100 hours of interesting runs out of Elden Ring uh, until we get a DLC. So thanks for watching and have fun.